Hello, and greetings to you all once again. I am Pion Man, superhero, protector, keeper of safety, um... Library card holder. A defender of children and friend to all. Along with my good friends at Western Power Distribution, WPD, I am here to bring you a brief video to continue our learnings about electrical safety outside of the home. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Pylon Man is back with a brand new edition. Uh, <coughs> oh, um, sorry, uh, I can't help being so straight. It's because I spend so much time outside of the home. Usually. At the moment, less so. But that's not a bad thing, as it has given me new ways to amuse myself. Like knitting. Cutting my toenails. And Cat Frisbee. Before we go any further, I think that it's important that we understand just a little bit of the science around electricity. Electricity is a strange thing. You can't hear it, and you can't see it. Which is how you probably feel about me right now. <clears throat> but you can see and hear its effects all around you most of the time. Electricity is created by the movement of tiny little things called electrons. Then that creates a type of energy. I could try and explain electricity more to you, but you'd all be like, what? <laughs> now, there are two types of electricity. The first is called static electricity, which is the sort that when you drag your feet along the carpet and then touch something, <laughs> yes, you touch something, it can give you some sort of <laughs> electrical shock. Or the sort that allows you to do that cool trick where you get the balloon to stick to a wall. The science here is really simple. On the wall, you have positive and negative charges. And when you rub the balloon on your head and then place on the wall, the negative charges, the electrons, are transferred, leaving the wall positively charged. And then there's positive and negative, which are attracted to each other. Like with magnets, opposites attract. In fact, there is a cool trick that you could do at home, and all you need is a bottle, a pencil, and a balloon! The other type of electricity is current electricity. Current electricity involves the electrons moving along some sort of path. This is sometimes called a flow or a current. As these electrons move, they carry electrical energy from one place to another. This makes it incredibly useful, as it means we can put the energy where we need it. Like into our homes. Then it can power all the really useful stuff in our house, like... The fridge. The TV. The Xbox. The toilet. Oh. Sorry about that. Uh, I was bursting. The toilet doesn't need electricity to work. That's a different sort of flow. So, current electricity is incredibly useful. But if you don't respect it, then it is incredibly dangerous too. One of the ways we measure electricity is in volts. Your home has 230 volts running through it, which can come out of every socket. However, it can take as little as 54 volts to actually kill a human being. Shocking stuff. So we must respect electricity, and that's what we will look at next. That's enough learning for now. With all this learning about electricity, my head hurts. In fact, you could say it mega hurts. <laughs> Ooh, I need a lie down. Leaders, gators!